Okay, if you care about your quality of life as a freelancer, as a human, you have to remember this one thing. And that is, you need strong boundaries. I was reading this Twitter thread the other day, and it said that the kindest people have the strongest boundaries. And I thought that that was so profound. Because if you don't have strong boundaries, that means you're probably letting your clients walk all over you. If you're a freelancer, you're not giving yourself what you need. You're not taking the rest that you need. You're not scheduling your meetings in a way that suits your schedule. And like, therefore, the output of your creative work, your work for your clients, whatever you're doing is going to suffer in a big way. However, if you are a freelancer that sets really firm boundaries in terms of having specific days and times for meetings, not answering your phone at certain hours, having weekends, taking trips, going on vacation, then you're going to be well rested. So when you do show up to a meeting or do show up to your page to work or write or draw or illustrate or whatever you do as a freelancer, you are going to be so much better off, so much more effective, and your work quality is going to be way better. Because if you don't communicate your boundaries, nobody's going to know what they are and you're not going to be able to enforce them because nobody can read your mind. Communicating boundaries also doesn't have to be a very dramatic thing. It can be super simple and it can happen in the initial interview with the potential client if you're a freelancer. It can happen in a document that you can send before you start working with someone and be like, hey, before we start working with each other, like I want to let you know that uh, here are the, my work hours, here's when I'm available, here's when I'm not available. Um, it can also mean communicating with your current clients if you're going on vacation and being like, hey, I'm out of the office next week, I have a few more days to do anything if you need me, but after uh, Friday at 5 p.m., I'm out. And so there's a few different ways that you can communicate your boundaries and you need to communicate them very strongly. Another thing, if you are on meetings with potential clients and you're communicating boundaries and they're acting weird, then that's a huge red flag. For example, I was on a call today where I'm like, hey, like for projects like this, I only work on an hourly rate because it's super complex and there's a lot of things going on. And my client was just like, but we need you to work on an, uh, a fixed rate. And I said in my cover letter that I generally prefer to work on an hourly rate and I can discuss fixed rates, but generally I prefer my hourly rate. And so I reiterated on the call, I was like, hey, I'm like I mentioned, I only work for my hourly rate for these projects. And they kind of got weird and like upset and kind of confused. And, and I was like, okay, that's totally fine. And that was a huge red flag. And I'm not going to end up working for that client, which is good. If somebody doesn't respect your boundaries, they're not going to be a good client for you. And therefore you should not work with them. And this also applies to your personal life. If people don't respect your boundaries, they should not be in your life and you shouldn't be interacting with them.